Hello, I'm Ricky Mapp, Senior Sales Engineer with Eagle Eye Networks. In today's video, you will learn how to add a new camera to your Eagle Eye Networks Cloud VMS. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. Um, I hope, uh, let's see here, if we uh, just uh, select this option here to add camera to account, it's going to give us some options here. So we can right off the bat name the camera. Uh, some folks, you know, um, you know, if you're an installer, you may not know exactly what the camera needs to be called just yet, so you could leave it new camera one or whatever you may, may want. Uh, I'm going to name it training cam. Um, we can set the retention, so depending on what the customer's uh, expecting, we could set that anywhere from uh, you know uh, uh, no days in the cloud all the way up to five years. We're working on a CMBR, so we also have on-premise uh, retention. So depending, you know, if they expect you know certain days on on premise, but no no days in the cloud or vice versa. However, however you have it set it up is what you can do. So uh, right now we're going to set this to just 14 days on premise, and then we're going to do 30 days in the cloud. Um, we have the option to select a scene. Um, this doesn't really change anything, uh, you know, from your standpoint. But it really helps us um, understand, you know, what cameras are, are, are seeing what. Um, there's some machine learning uh, tools that we're, you know, may one day come out with. We don't know, uh, but it'd be nice of you if you could uh, to show us what uh, what we're adding or what this camera is uh, see seeing. We also have the option to add tags here. So if you know that this camera is for sure, um, you know, looking at the front desk or whatever it may be. You can go ahead and tag it here, and that'll save you a step in the future. If you don't know what it's, it's looking at because you, um, you're not sure what camera it is, that's fine. We can always add it in, uh, on, on the next time. So here we are. Um, we've got the tag. We've got the scene. We've named the camera. If you've used a username and password, um, you'd want to enter those here. Um, and then once we hit save, it's going to attach that camera to our bridge. So once again, give it a couple of moments to do its thing. Um, while that one's adding, we can go ahead and add the others. So let's go here. Set its retention, set its on-premise retention, select the scene. Let's see, let's set this as a cash register. All right, password if, if necessary. If it's an Eagle Eye camera that you purchased from us, um, you're not going to need any of this information. So then we hit save. So while we're saving this, what we can see is the other camera has already come online. So we can tell a couple of things. One, it's streaming because it's uh, got a, a nice little green check mark there. Um, the tag's there. And we can see that it's getting an IP address and it gives us the option to VPN in the camera. Uh, this VPN option is really neat if uh, you've mounted the camera and the scenes, you know, either upside down or you need to adjust any of the camera's uh, settings, turn off on-screen displays, whatever it may be, you have the option to VPN right here. Um, at this point, we have two cameras, um, or one camera streaming, one other camera coming online, and we have a bridge that's online. So uh, let's give us... Uh, uh, shot and let's take a look at some of the features of the bridge settings. Um, at this point, though, uh, from you know our, our training standpoint, um, you know we're done. We've got the cameras added. The bridge is online. Um, I can click on the cameras uh, checkbox here and see that it's it's definitely uh, streaming the preview. And here is the. And here we are. We've got two cameras and the bridge online. They're all streaming, and uh, this part of the training is complete. Thanks for watching this episode of our how to series. Please make sure to check out some of our other videos, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Eagle Eye Networks channel.